I like to get the camera down. It's a typical day at the Baltimore Bike Share Program repair shop. James Duffney is setting the day's plans. We need to replace all those docks, like, starting today. Repairs are being made, and bikes will go out to replace those being used at various kiosks around the city. Duffy is the owner of Core Logistics and employs veterans, mostly those down on their luck, to do the job, and these guys know their stuff. The bike weighs 60 pounds, it's 6 feet long, it's 4 feet 5 inches from the, the base of the front wheel to the handlebar. Tyke Spies, a mechanic, was hired five months ago after a 30-year addiction to cocaine and incarceration for first-degree attempted murder. And I recently got you know, a uh, relationship and I'm renewing my relationship with my children and grandchildren. Court Logistics done that for me. The job is a lifesaver for these vets and also one for Baltimore's $2.3 million bike sharing program. Less than a month after its launch, it fell victim to crime, theft and vandalism that temporarily shut it down. These vets have been repairing the bikes and changing the locking mechanisms to tighten security. I went and visited every district in the city and met police officers at their roll call in the mornings to tell, ask them for their help while we were going through that situation. Building that relationship with the Baltimore police was critical. Right now, 17 bike stations are back up and running, and the vets are getting these bikes repaired to go back out to the remaining stations by the end of the month before phase two of this bike share program begins. Phase two means more bike stations around the city, and for these vets, more work helping them stay on the straight and narrow. In Baltimore, Theo Hayes, WBAL-TV 11 News.